What is going on, everybody? Uh, let me let me check my. Is it working? All right, sweet. The microphone is working. I gotta check one more thing here, guys. What's going on? Blake Alberts here with B and B Lawn Care. Um, let me see one thing real quick. I'm not great at lives, but somebody had asked me to do a live. So that's what I'm doing, man. So let's see here. One sec. I'm trying to figure out my audio here. I don't know. I have no clue. Let me know if you can hear me, man. Let me know if you can hear me. And uh, hopefully everything's going to start working out here. There's my microphone thing. All right. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you can hear me. I can't hear myself. Um Loud and clear, loud and clear. That's all That's all that matters, man. I, I can't hear myself, but that's all right. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to keep this limited real quick. We're going to end this at 1040. I know the I, I can ramble for hours and hours when we're on a live broadcast, but I'm starting to get sick. I can feel it in my throat. My throat hurts a little bit. So I apologize if I drink during this. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep it short, but let's answer some stuff. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Uh, EDK Landscaping. Blake, love your Raptor. Thank you so much. I like it. I like it. I'm going to need it this year, man, uh, getting around in the snow. We had a, a pretty big snow while I was away on my honeymoon. Um, I think they, they said it was about um, seven inches in most places. Um, so that's pretty big. We haven't had a seven-inch snow probably since I was in high school it's been about three, three years, three, four years now since we have a big snow like that, especially this early in the season still. What was that? That was probably November 26, 27. So that's pretty early snow for us. Um, I've already, I'm already sick, been out for two days. LOL, catch up while you can. Yeah, what are you sick with, like, Andrew, like a sore throat or something? Uh, that's the worst, man. That and, and throw-up flu is definitely the worst. So, um, David definitely won't stay till 1040. That's all right. That's all right, man. Uh, Tony, what's going on? Missouri. <laughs> wow. You look different. Why do I look different? I hope not. I hope, I hope different in a bet and being better. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, Andrea, glad you had a good wedding honeymoon. You did rep a tan. Look, did did I get a little tan action? My chest is actually burnt, but Andrea, you're super tan. Super tan. Traveler, how's it going? We had 14 inches in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, that's a lot, dude. I can't imagine. We went to, uh, well, Milwaukee, uh, what, two years ago, I think, in the parking lots. We've never seen something like that. The parking lots were just 20 foot, 30 foot piles of snow because there's nowhere else to put it. It's crazy. Uh, but we don't get that 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 often here. Um, what repaired the trimmer you had that would die while using? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. So we have, I think, three steel trimmers. And then like an, another um, Red Max. And I'll be 100% with you. 100% with you. I just put that one off to the side. And I, I'm going to fix it this uh, winter. I'm going to take it up to Coleman and, and kind of see what's going on with it. But I really, I, I had a lot of suggestions in the comments. And uh, I just haven't had time to fix that trimmer. But I will definitely let you know what they do to it to fix it. Hopefully it. If it's something that's going to be really expensive, and when I say really expensive, I mean half the price of a new trimmer or more, sometimes labor costs, it's more than half the price of the trimmer. I'm just going to get a new trimmer. I, I, I'm just not that I, – I know how long trimmers last, you know, one, two years in good condition. So that one's probably two, three years old, and so I'm not going to spend more than half of what it's – what I can buy a new one for to fix it. Uh, I, I don't even know if I'd spend half on it, on it, honestly. 
Um, when did you mow your first lawn? I, I probably mowed my first lawn when I was uh, 13, I would say. Something around there. 13 years old. 12, thir- probably 12 years old now that I think about it. Probably 12 years old. Should have brought my glasses down here, man. I, I See, when I'm on my computer, I don't wear glasses. I don't like the glare, but I can see up close perfectly fine. It's far away. I can't see. Um, uh, let's see. I feel sorry for you. I don't know why, Swanky. Don't feel sorry for me, buddy. <laughs> um, I was the one who recommended more live chats yesterday. I'm glad to see you on here. Brandon, I'm doing it for you, buddy. I'm doing it for you. Flu. Andrew's got the flu in Atlanta, Georgia. Yep. Yep. That'll get it, man. That'll put you out of work. Mulch, mate. Hope you had a great time in your honeymoon. We did have a great time, man. Really, really good time. You're married now. I am. Yep. That's what it is, man. I guess growing up, huh? Tyler, thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. How's the wife marriage going? It's going great, Andrew. Going great, man. Uh, let's see here. Do you like the EBZ 8500? Have not used it. I have not used it. EDK landscaping. Um, nope. I have never, never tried it out. Um, over 40 inches in November. Where is that? Syracuse. My goodness. That's too much. That is way too much. No, thank you. End of year taxes. See, Brandon, here's the thing. I've had a lot of people ask me about doing videos on taxes. Here's the problem with that. I'll be honest. I don't do, I, I don't know a ton. I have, I have an accountant that I pay to do the taxes, my quarterly taxes, um, and then just whatever I need to do at the end of the year um, in April. And, uh, I, I won't give advice on that because one, I don't know everything. I know what I need to know and uh, let him do all the actual paperwork and, and filings and things like that. And another thing is I don't want to tell you something. You go and do it and it end up being wrong. You get audited and 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 <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not putting that much pressure on myself. So uh, I always tell people go look for a local accountant, not, um, not H and R block. I'm not going to talk anything. You can do what you want, but I just like supporting, you know, local businesses. And I feel like you get better service one-on-one service when you go through, uh, a local, anybody local, but like a local accountant, they're just going to You're not going to be put on a database for a nationwide, worldwide company, probably H&R Block or something like that, and and nobody know nobody remembers you coming in, um, or whatnot, you know. So my accountant is my guy, you know. I I can call him up and not have to go through a whole corporate setting. So that's what I do. Um, That's what I suggest people to do. Um. Professional services, Patrick. We're going to put out a lot of flyer flyers and also have the post office mail out flyers this year. Going to be all about marketing. Yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, that's good stuff to do. Um, also, man, just uh, start start taking pictures of all of your jobs that you do and start posting them on Instagram and and Facebook and stuff and. I'm, I'm telling you that social media is here. If you haven't noticed that already, this is this is the new marketing world. So uh, that's what I'm. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm start small, man. Like you can start by just taking pictures of the jobs you're doing and put them on Facebook and put them on Instagram. Um, like that's just. That's my advice to you, man. That's my advice. Flyers still work. All that stuff still works, but it's just starting to get, I get so much mail here. If it does, if it's not a check or a bill, it gets tossed in the trash. I'll be a hundred percent. And I know that's how 
99% of the people are in the world we are today, it gets thrown away, man. It gets thrown away. So, but I wish you the best of luck on it. I just want you to start, um, instead of focusing all of your efforts on one little thing, do that and also start on Facebook and start on Instagram and things like that. Just widen out your marketing so you have a better chance of it clicking on and, and getting calls. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, let's see. Andy is sitting here playing PlayStation. Braden has post-op for his tummy in a little bit. Oh, I wish him the best of luck, man. That's uh, We need him to do better, buddy. Buddy, it's Andrea. Sorry. <laughs> we need him to do better, you know. Uh, Triple D's lawn care. What's going on, buddy? Tino? Is it Tino? 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 What's going on? What's good? Congratulations. Glad to see you're back. Loving the video, dude. Thank you, Antonio. Um, all Jonathan likes the BR600 the best. I It's a very solid blower. I'll, I'll tell you power-wise, but it's just comfortable. I, I really think that the, the BR600 is a very good design. Uh, it's just very, it's weighted very well. I don't know. I like it. I have two of them. I've, I've purchased three, got one stolen, and I have two. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Denver asks what the best form of advertising. I kind of talked about it uh, two questions ago. Dude, I, I firmly believe in social media. Obviously, that's that's my marketing. So, I believe in, in Facebook, Instagram. I believe in YouTube. Um, so, that's that's my that's my advice and i i'm i have a ton of information coming out um about it and, I, and i've posted in the past couple of years all about facebook and instagram and things like that so um yeah 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 david that's a cool light is there a dyson fan next to it that is a dyson that right there is a dyson fan it is uh, Andrea, I'll be doing Andy's taxes again this year. Everybody's situations are different. Brackets are different. Totally. Totally. I, I have Andrea, that stuff confuses me to death. I go through and I have literally, this is how easy it is. Now it's, I have to pay good money. Like it's, I have to pay money to get it done. It's not like I'm getting it done for free, uh, which is a pain. I mean, it's a couple thousand bucks a year or whatever. But I literally get it. It says, Blake, sign here. I sign, write a checkout for this amount, and I put it in an envelope that's pre mail like pre-addressed, and I put it in my mailbox, and it's off to the IRS and all these other little things, <laughs> you know? So I just don't know what I'm doing, man, and it just it gives me a headache thinking about it. I, I When I was younger, I stressed about it. I thought the IRS was coming to get me, like, if I didn't sign it a certain way or something. So yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, dude, if, if you know how to do it yourself, you might as well save that money. Absolutely. Um, yep. Yep. Triple D's. Yes. <clears throat> you, when you cut somebody's yard, I bet you treat it like it's your own yard. Yeah, absolutely. Shop local. Absolutely. David, bigger companies, they just send people out that probably are getting job because their parents told them they need a job. Yes. Andrew says now time for kids. Slow down there, Andrew. Slow down. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, how do you find the time to post your videos? I barely have enough time to mow my yard. Patrick, this is something very serious. My 51 people that are on here watch me. This is something serious that, that I need to say. A lot of people have noticed in the past, actually all year, all year, and even at the GIE, people ask me if I, I still worked, like if I just had a crew out doing the yards and I didn't work. So his question is, how do I find the time to post videos? That is why, that is the sole reason why you see me making the videos in my garage, in my house, and why I haven't filmed like a work vlog in a very long time. 
it's because I'm trying to get my stuff done. We just been so busy. And then I film after we're done working or whatever the case is. If I wake up early, I'll film it before. But Patrick, that that's the sole reason. Everybody's like, dude, Blake, Blake doesn't even work anymore. Like he he's just a, a YouTube guy. That that's just that's not even kind of the truth. Um, truth is, I do it a- after we're done working, and whenever I can find time, whether that's on a weekend, whether that's at nine o'clock at night. Uh, so that's why they're in my garage. They're not as fun. They're not as uh, entertaining. They're not um, as scenic. They're a little bit more boring, but they're packed filled with information. And uh, I think that's the more, most important thing. So I'll, 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 I'll film out working again. But uh, like, like you just stated, Patrick, it's, it's very time consuming. And when you're busy, you know, you got to get your stuff that pays the bills done first before you're worrying about videos and things like that. So um, out here working, Blake, but I have – this running in the background, David, getting the work done, bro. So let's see. Don't overwhelm yourself. Yes, 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 yes. I lost my spot. Hold on, hold on. Um, are you wrapping your trailer for next year's season? I am not. I am not. I'll be a hundred percent with you. Um, I, I am thinking about selling the enclosed trailer and there's so many reasons why. Um, I'm not going to, I really don't have like one big reason and then other small reasons. They're all about equal one. It's parking. That big thing is a mess. It, it that thing is huge. Um, it just is. My neighbors flipping hate me, dude. Like I can't even get a wave out of them. Um, a few reasons why they hate me. One, the trailer is giant, and two, they're all like thirty years older than me. And then you just got two kids out here running around with cameras and flamethrowers outside, and big trucks and trailers and. There's always just madness all the time and they just don't like it. And I can understand why they're older. We're, we're young kids in this neighborhood, but Hey, we're having a blast and that's all that matters. So that's a big reason. Storage is a huge reason. And two, I'll be honest. I don't think that trailer is the best built trailer. There is Uh, it, 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 it's falling apart. Like, to tell you the truth, the inside is falling apart. Uh, all of those little siding pieces, everything's dented and and big gashes out of the walls. It's not pretty, man. Like it's just not pretty. And and I just feel like one day it's just gonna look junky. Cause with an open trailer, like my other open trailer, you can just spray paint that bad boy black and it looks brand new. But when you have a big, big enclosed trailer, you can't do that. Like it just turns junky, you know? So that's another big reason, man. I'll be honest. And and wait, wait. Uh, DOT's really, uh, I don't know anything about it, but they're really cracking down, man. They're really cracking down. So I definitely won't wrap it because I'm, I'm thinking about getting out of it. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know what the deal is, but that's my mindset at the moment. Lawn Commander, thank you. What type what type of head trimmer do you have? So I still use all of those battery-operated trimmers that I got way back in 2015. So DeWalt sent me like two of those battery-operated head trimmers. I am still using those DeWalt hedge trimmers in 2019, dude. I will be using those hedge trimmers. They do great. Like I literally have no complaints about them. Um, never gave me any fuss. So it's, it is pronounced 
Tino. Okay, I got it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <clears throat> Callbacks and people who actually look at flyers is about. Okay, Andrea has some numbers here. She has some statistics. Let's read them. Your return for callbacks or people who will actually look at the flyers is about 10% of the flyers you send out. Then about 15 to 20% of that number will result in a call. Yeah, yeah that I don't even know if it's 10% of people that will look at it. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a very low. I have heard so yeah, that 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 math actually works out pretty well. It's about one to two percent of people you'll get that number of calls. So if you put out a hundred, you might get one call. So that is that's that's pretty that's pretty spot on. Um, you exactly right. I will put on Facebook. I got pictures of jobs already. We do some Facebook, but I'm trying to do a lot of Facebook this year. Online marketing, Patrick. Add me on Facebook, Blake Albertson. I will. Uh, I've got you, buddy. I'll, I'll I'll help you out. No worries. Um, flyers can be very expensive, dude. I I look at this. I must have cleaned them out, but I must have thrown them away. I had a stack. One year, I think it was two years ago. I'm like, I'm gonna hit every neighborhood, every door is getting one, and I, I did like 20 houses. I'm like, this is not gonna happen. I am not gonna do all these. So. Yeah, I, I've wasted a bunch of money on them. Um, be real to customers, absolutely. Shout out to Blake. Love watching your stuff. Town and country lawn care. Thank you. Spam calls. Uh, yes, absolutely. David, that's why I do not answer my phone. If... Uh, it's not good business. I get it. Uh, but I just get way too many calls. So if they don't leave a voicemail, they don't get called back because I get spam. I get I get so much crap call. I don't even know what it is. So yeah. If they don't leave a message, they don't they don't get me. So um good live chat, bud. Should do it once a week. And I lost the comment. I lost the comment. Uh, good live chat. Should do it once a week. Keep people feeling involved in your channel. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you, sir. That's. I will try to do that. I will. Uh, what new service are you adding? So I'm actually two. Ray, if that's Ray, I think that's how you say it. Um, be doing pressure washing and also installing fountainscapes in 2019. Those are my two new things. Uh, really to, to be able to start working on that January, February, March, instead of waiting, really, we don't start cutting grass until April. Like that's when the season really starts to ramp April, May and not March. Like a lot of people are like, Oh, March, March is a big, not really for weekly mowing. Um, so I want to be able to, to make money January, February, March on the nice days. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the thought process behind it. And also to fill in any gaps there are. So, um, just, it's, it's all about, it's all about adding more money, but also being able to work all the time and not having any, you know, big gaps in your, in your crash, in your cash flow, man. Learn a lot about cash flow. Cash flow. Um, so that I hope that answers. Um, yeah, the only the only thing I see about Craigslist is it, it's just not the clientele. The clientele I want is on Facebook. They're not on Craigslist. That's just that's how I see it. You know, it could work. I'm sure it works, but that's just that's the that's my mindset on it. Um, I took so many accounting classes. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a numbers guy. I don't like it. 
Mr. Boy Elliot, I need to go love your videos. Thank you. Get it, get it. <clears throat> Let's see. Triple D says, I'm going to love pressure washing. So I hope so. I think I will. Don't do kids until late 20s. I have six. I started at 26. I wish I would have waited until 30, to be honest. Jonathan, but you love them more than anything. You do. <laughs> Um, how do you get them to leave reviews on Google? Like when they Google your business, your reviews pop up. I have not had that good of success with that, Patrick. Um, and I don't know why. Uh, even whenever I, I ask, I have, if there's one thing I have learned in the past six months, it's the ask. You have to ask. If you never ask, you'll never know. And so uh, I've asked a lot for reviews and no one does it. I literally send them the link and they will not, I don't get it. Like, okay, and this is normally when I ask. I normally ask when they give me a compliment. Blake, you did a killer job on our landscaping. Thank you so much. We worked so hard. I just, I wanted it to look the best it absolutely could. If you could real quick, leave me a review on Google. It helps me out so much. Whenever you have free time, here's a link. And it literally sends them to where they leave the review and it still doesn't happen. So I'm figuring that out. Like I am literally, I, I don't know why I'm going to have to take a psychology course to figure out why I can't get people to leave, like customers to leave me reviews on Google. But I have a few. I'm going to figure it out though and I'll let you know, man. It's, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just as lost on it as you because I've asked a lot and I have not gotten it. Um, yeah, Patrick and, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, um, and, and, and I hope that, that you realize, cause I think it's life's a lot about mindset that you're just not what you're not just watching people mow yards. Um, you know, I try to help you, man, whether that be with getting more clients on social media, whether that be just ins and outs of the lawn care business. So Get your wife on here and, and show her what you're learning, man. You're trying to better your guys' lives. Um, and I talked to somebody yesterday, like, weekend, man. Like, you can make money on the weekends, dude. Like, you you can literally help your life by cutting grass, mowing lawns on the weekend. So, uh, especially when you have a full-time job, you can be very picky of the yard you pick up. So you're just making a couple bucks a minute. Like you're making money, you know? So the, the time that you're not with the wife, you're not doing other things, you're making money. Um, so yeah. How's the weather there? It's about uh, 30 degrees today, snow on the grass. That's why I cannot do anything out in the lawns. Still have a ton of leaf cleanups to do. Um, yeah. Driving to the gym, man, I've lost my spot. Playing, oh, hey, thank you. Gene, Gene, I hope that's right. Okay, Patrick, I'm very interested in this. In the state of Louisiana, you don't have to pay taxes on lawn care. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know if you mean state taxes, but now I'm not an accountant. Don't quote me, but wouldn't that just be income and you still have to pay your federal income taxes? If, yeah, I, I'm curious, Patrick, to know what you mean by that because I don't know. That's it. That's interesting. I'm interested in it. So let me know. Let me know. Um, Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, Andrea, here's the thing. The thing about the five, and I listen, like me personally, I'd give somebody a free cut to leave me a good review. But it comes back to, oh, you're paying for them to leave a good review. Now, me personally, I don't think like that. I'm a I'm a very fast act. I don't sit on little things like that. I'd be like, leave me a good review. It's your you're taking your time out of the out of your day. Let me cut your lawn for free. I don't care. It, you know, whatever. But um, you know, people don't see it like that, so that's why I don't do it. But uh, anyways, I, I agree with that, Andrea, personally. But um, you know, people are. People are a little wacky. Um, uh, will you stick to an enclosed trailer or switch back? I think I'll switch back to an open trailer, really. Um, <clears throat> Triple D's. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reread that here in a minute. <laughs> um, what's the best? Kevin asked, "What's the best way to get new clients?" Uh, we've been talking about this a lot. Uh, I, I'm just a firm believer in Facebook and Instagram, man. I feel like that's where the attention is, and uh, you you gotta you gotta you gotta go where the the people are, man. You know, it used to be yellow pages and now it's Facebook. So in 10 years, it won't be Facebook or Instagram. So you just have to follow with the trends, man. It's a fast, fast changing world. So start taking pictures of your, the jobs you do and start posting and start posting. So that's what you got to do. Uh, let's see. Acme, things are going good, man. Really good. Really happy. Hope every, hope you're doing well. Twenty flyers. That's and got six lawns. That's that is that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Triple D's is doing. Oh, I no. You're doing MySpace. Uh, yeah. See, that's one of those things. It used to be MySpace was where the attention is, and now it's not. So I don't post on MySpace, <laughs> but uh, I hope it works for you. And I I don't post on on Twitter, Black Planet. I've never heard of any of those. So maybe I don't know. Um, uh, triple D's. There's your plug. Um, uh, want me to hop on this live with you, Andy, it, even if I did, okay, I don't know how to get you on here. I don't know how to get you on here. Um, a big waste of time, Fred, that flyers didn't work for me either. So I'm, I feel you. Um, uh, how's the website working for you? Very well. The website still does very, very good for me. Uh, Jared lives in Blue Springs. I'm in Blue Springs all the time. Um, Jared, hit me up on Facebook, man. I'd love to love to chat about it with you. Kind of see where what you're looking for and where you're at. So, Jared, hit me up, Blake Albertson on Facebook, and I'd love to chat about it with you. Shoot me a message. Um, all right. The best pickup truck. Jacob is turning 18. He wants to know what the best truck is. Um, I would go find what your budget is and find don't don't care. I don't really care about the year of a truck, but definitely care about the condition and the miles and uh see i'm getting a call right now have no clue who it is just let it go to voicemail check the voicemail give them a call back in three minutes so um but yeah 
Go just just do your research, man. Do your research. Do your research. I I take every vehicle that I, I'm about to purchase into a mechanic and have them check over it because I don't know what I'm looking for. And uh, I want I want a professional or somebody that knows what they're talking about to just look over it, make sure nobody's lying. It's all open books. Don't care about a year. Um, and uh, yeah, M more worried about mileage and condition and things like that. So I, that's something I've really learned. I used to want to be flashy. Now I don't care about flashiness. I want money, you know, you know, that's how I am. Uh, hey, dude, I just want to mow. I just want to mow too, man. I'm sick of the cold. Uh, what's up, broski? Ace repair. What's going on? Pressure washing is the way to go. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've got some invoicing to do from when I was on the honeymoon. Uh, some cleanups we did, a little bit of landscaping that uh, that was done, and then some snow removal. So I'm with you, man. I'm going to send out those invoices today um do you do winter work like structural tree pruning i do not do anything like that i will be plowing this year for a local guy learning that game making a couple bucks and uh that's that's what i'll be doing and then on nice days when it's not snowing i'll be doing other services like like pressure washing adding a fountain whatever Whatever, whatever the world wants, I'll do it. So, um, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. Check out my recent video. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Facebook. I got an RB800 uh, from Steel. Yep, rubber band hanging to the doors. That's how it's. That's how it's always been done, bro. That's yep. That's it. Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, man, I hate, I hate when I scroll down a little bit. It takes me all the way down. Um, you hate color engines. Uh oh, I just got one. I had kids early. Now I'm young enough to enjoy life yet old enough that I have no kids in the home cramping my style. Acme. Quote from Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. That's, yeah, that's a good way to live, man. I mean, just just live your life. Live your life. I like it. Triple D's moving to Georgia, if, if anybody wanted to know. He just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> sooner you have kids, the sooner you can kick them out. <laughs> that's a quote from Ammerman Lawn Care. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I like that, Swanky. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might discount to leave a review. I like that. Bob, what's going on, brother? 57 viewers and only two likes. Hey, thank you, buddy. Um, how often when you get a receipt from a dollar store Walmart do you do a review? I like it. Triple D's is 100% correct. That's the exact reason I do not. That's it. Yeah. When, when, okay. The place that I know does it. And I don't eat Taco Bell a lot. I haven't had Taco Bell in a very long time. But I remember I used to go there all the time when I was in high school. Yes. They always, can you give us a, a review? It's on the back of the receipt for a chance to win like a $5,000 or something. And people are like, Heck yeah. If I have a chance to win $5,000, I'll leave a review. But when somebody just says Home Depot did it, um, I was buying like a shovel or something. And, and the lady was like, if you could, we're having a contest to who can get the best reviews. And I didn't do it because like eh, I'm busy. So I get it. I get why people don't do it. It's just how do I get them to do it? Ah, come on. <laughs> um uh, out right for somebody. Um, hundred percent, Jacob. Jacob Williams, one million percent. You cannot prove me wrong. Buy an old truck outright. Cash. 
Cash. Cash. That F-250, my F-250, we've used all year long, made a ton of money with it. I purchased for probably 8500 bucks. This is real, bro. I, I don't think I've said that. 8500 bucks cash well check but i wrote him a check that day got all that money ripped out away pulled off that band-aid and i never have to worry about it again boom mic drop there's there's nothing coming in the mail every month taking out my money for that truck it's done that thing, the speedometer on it is 190,000 miles. And I am proud of it, dude. I mean, I didn't put I didn't put all the miles on it, but hey, let's go, man. It's got a new engine, probably probably 60,000 miles on the engine. Probably 60,000 miles on the engine. But I don't have a payment one. I have to put gas in it. I have to change the oil and wash it every couple weeks. <laughs> so 100% Jacob, if there's one thing you learn, dude, get used. You do not want to be tied down to something that's going to be taking your cash flow. Cash flow, man. I'm learning so much about it and how powerful it is. So... I hope I, I, I hope I put that. <laughs> um, okay. All right. I got that out. <whistles> yes. Swanky. Um, I, okay. Landuros Reed. In Kansas City, do I have a license to put down granulated fertilizers for customers? No, I do not. And I am not going to get one this year either. I just, I'm doing other things, man. I'm doing other things. So, nope. I don't have, a, I don't put down fertilizer. I don't touch it. I don't do it. And I don't want to do it. At least right now. There's good money in it. I get it. There's good money in a lot of things. It's just, that's not where my passion's going. If, if you're not passionate about it, you're not going to do it. So I'm not passionate about doing fertilizer. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. You know, I want to love my business, love my life. So I hope you are like, if you're, if you're passionate about it, do it. There's good money to be made. A cut and clean gave me a dollar 99 to go fluff my Christmas tree. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Norman, all of us lawn and landscapers from Kansas City need to meet up sometime. Met Andy, and I would like to meet others and keep learning from you guys. Dude, I'm totally 100% down. Let's do it. It'd be a blast. I'd have a good time doing it. I'd love that. Congratulations on getting hitched. Where did you go in Hawaii? The big island. I lived in Oahu for three years. We went to Kauai. Kauai. Um, 22 clients on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, sometimes on the weekends. Plus I have a part-time job. It can be tough, but I manage. BLY lawn care. That's good, man. Keep the hustle. Um, snow here in Pittsburgh should be gone tomorrow. Good. Yeah, Ace Repair, that's exactly right. Take a mechanic with you to get the truck inspected before you buy. Love it. It's my same advice. Um, I'm in Louisiana. You definitely have to pay taxes. Uh, why bribe for a good review? See, Bob, that's the, other, that's the other end of the spectrum that a lot of people have is it's basically a bribe. So you just have to keep that balance. That's why I've never gotten a review. I've never... I've never gave an incent an incentive to do it, but you know, I don't know. Dude, you're the new freak, Ammerman Lawn Care. I'll take that. 
I like that, bro. Thanks. Um, yeah, Patrick wants to build his business, man. That's and quit the job. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, you got to ask, man. You got to ask. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch up here. Um, ba -ba -ba. all fam here. Love it. Keep it up, B&B. Thank you, Lawn. That is the Lawn Care Superman. I like that, dude. That's a good, There, there's a lot of uh, marketing stuff you could do with that. Lawn Care Superman. Flying into your city. Spring 2019. Here to dominate the weeds, the lawn care Superman. Oh yeah! See, you got to be quick witted, man. I I can come up with some stuff for you. Hire me, marketing manager for for lawn care Superman. That's good, man. I like that. Uh, yeah, home advisor. Some people love it. Most people hate it, but it works for some, just like Justin. Um. MySpace, high five anyone. <laughs> I don't know if MySpace is still around. I guess it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ammerman, I'm in the same boat as you. I need the snow to melt so I can get the cleanups done, man. I love doing cleanups, kind of. I say that until I do enough of them and my allergies are flared up again, and I hate them again, but... I like I like doing it. I like making things look good, nice and cleaned up. Hey, Triple D's. I'm a very, especially in situations like this, I'm very gullible. I'll, I'll read what you, and, and I'll believe you, man. I'll believe what you tell me. So if you say you're posting on MySpace, I'll believe you. So, <laughs> yeah, Ace Repair. I have, I don't understand Google Hangouts. But yes, I do need to use Google Hangouts. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I get jobs in a local paper. Interesting. <laughs> uh, best way to get used equipment: uh, call Blake Albertson with B and B Lawn Care. Tyler, I have a couple things that I, I I'm, I'm going to be selling here. Um, no joke, but. In all seriousness, um, I am selling stuff, but go to Facebook. Facebook Marketplace is the new Craigslist. Go to Craigslist still and look for used equipment. That's where I bought my first commercial mower, the right standard 52, the one that split in half. Um, but it worked for me. It did a, it did a good job until the day it died. Um, but, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Absolutely, dude. It is definitely the new, it's the new Craigslist. So I'd go on there for sure. And also um, look up your city swap shops on Facebook. And like all of our neighborhoods around here have neighborhood swap shops that people sell equipment. Um, dude, I was mowing a yard one day. And one of my clients and the neighbor comes over, hey, Blake, I saw one of your videos. It helped me out with one of my problems in my yard. Here's a trimmer. I'm not going to use it anymore. Here's a free trimmer. I'm trying to get away from gas equipment. So there's a million ways, dude. Like there's a million ways. So that was pretty awesome. I have, I've never even started it up. But um, yeah, I might give it away to somebody or something. I think it's a Husqvarna. Husqvarna. Um, so, how does the V ride do on slopes? Pretty good, man. I don't have a ton of slopes and definitely not any extreme slopes. I know a lot of guys have these huge, you know, oh, like top notch. I've seen one of top notch's lawns he did for the city. Pardon me. And it was like a big, big hill. I don't have anything like that. 
I don't have anything like that. So, but for what I'm doing, it, it does good. Um, Patrick asked if I consider doing Christmas lights. I have buddies that make more money hanging Christmas lights November, December than they do all year cutting grass. There's money to be made. Absolutely. Only one problem. I am scared of heights. S terrified. I, I, I was hanging a, a security camera up on my house and I, I had to go buy a new ladder to do it. One of the ones that you lay up against the house. Like I've always had that little cheap little folding one. I had to buy one of those long ones that extend that, that go up against the house. Oh, my legs were shaking on that thing. I had to drill in real quick and I got down from there. <laughs> it was, dude, I am terrified of heights, but there is so much money to be made uh, in Christmas lights, dude. Absolutely. So I don't do it, but there is money to be made. Uh, yep. Build retaining walls in the wintertime. Keep you busy. That's exactly right. What's up? El Yardero. El Yardero. I hope that's, I hope that's correct. Uh, when are you coming back to St. Charles? I might possibly be coming back in January, I believe, to go to Aqualand. I think January. So we'll see how it goes. Um, appreciate the live triple D's. Uh, yeah, go check out triple D's, man. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, did I miss something? Everybody is talking about kids. Tyler, let me tell you something. The day you get married, everybody talks. We always joke about this. And I'm going to be really quick because I said 1040 and it's now 11 o'clock. This is what always happens. And, uh, you know, it's fine. I love it. But you start dating. Okay. Everybody asks you, when's the wedding? And you, when you first start, you're like, oh, stop, stop. You're embarrassing me. Stop. Then things get more serious. And you're like, well, we're thinking about two years or whatever. And then things get more serious. You get engaged. Okay, now what's the wedding date? Literally 10 minutes after we got engaged, people asked us when the wedding was. I have no clue. This is the furthest extent. I don't even know what I'm eating for dinner. You know, like how do I know when, I, when the wedding is? And then the day you get married, when's little Jimmy popping out, dude? When's Jimmy popping out? So it's funny how life goes. That's why everybody's talking about the baby. I've been asked a million times this week. I, did, I just think that's super, super funny. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. But that, yeah, that's the reason. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right, I got to put you guys on mute real quick. I'm getting a, an important phone call. All right. Sorry about that. I am back. That was my dad. I'm supposed to pick him up from the airport. And of course, flights delayed, mechanical issues. But I am burning up in here. Hold on. I am hot. I was freezing this morning, turned the heater on, and now I'm hot. Okay. Let's get back to some questions, baby. All right. All right. Yeah, your work truck turned out nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How did, this, how did you start out your business? 
Oh, man, this is a long story time. I'm going to shorten it up. All right, start out. My brother had about eight accounts, okay? Cub Cadet Zero Turn. Shout out to Cub Cadet Zero Turn. That was it, man. That was the base mark. We used Echo Trimmers from Lowe's, a little handheld Echo Blower, probably from Lowe's. And uh, and that's where it started, man. Then we started, Brand my brother Branson didn't want to do it anymore. I thought b, b that's a good name. It sticks. It's very catchy. And uh, I fell in love with it, got addicted when I was uh, in class. I just looked on Craigslist and looked at mowers and looked at YouTube videos and looked at all these online forums and just read information and looked at equipment and looked at equipment, fell in love with it, wanted to write standard, wanted to make stripes. Um, and it just continued from there. Once I bought my first commercial mower, I didn't even have a trailer yet. The guy I purchased it from is a local business owner. I had to have him drop it off at my house because I didn't have a trailer to go get it. And uh, and and then just kept on addicted to growing my business, man, and addicted to acquiring equipment. And then fell in love with guys like Grant Cardone. And then fell in lo love with guys like Dave Ramsey. And I learned more about business instead of equipment. I still love equipment. Obviously, that's why I like doing equipment reviews and things like that. But... Um, I fell in love with business and money. I, I got addicted to money um, for a while. I've kind of matured out and grown up and just focus on money, but I'm not addicted to money. Um, I used to I used to let spending money affect me a lot because I wanted to save as much, which is how I bought a house because I was addicted to saving money. I loved it, dude. Like I loved saving money. It was like most people get a high when they're spending money and I was getting a high every thousand dollars that I saved. Like I just, it just pumped me up. Um, um, but when you get a, when you get a house and things and, and your mindset changes a little bit um, and you just have to be smart about where you're putting in, in where you're spending your money um, and yeah, so that was it. That's my story in a, in a, in a, in a snapshot. So that's why I tell, told that guy, uh, uh, what was his name? Tyler about, uh, um, buying a used truck and not taking out a big $80,000 loan on a truck. Cause I got addicted to, to learning where to spend your money. And uh, not flashing it around with a raptor. So that's why I told you guys I wouldn't buy a raptor again to cut grass. Because um, I'd rather buy a, a used $8,000 truck and be able to purchase other things that are going to make me more money. Give me more cash flow, dude. Money, 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 money. But you just have to be smart about it. Be grown up about it. Uh... What did you think of the Toro with the snowplower? You tested it at the big show. Ted asked. Um, I don't know, man. I, it was cool at the show because you're pushing dirt. But I don't know how it would be in real life snowstorm with ice and slick concrete. It'd be curious. Like. I, I don't know, man. I don't, it's a very expensive unit. Like, it's crazy. So it just the the I don't know. If it worked, it, it'd work. But if it would work on light powder and not work if it had had a little bit of ice underneath the snow, then uh, then then I would say no. So, Kevin, you're welcome, buddy. Thank you. Kauai is like, from my knowledge, the furthest island away from the, the like the inner. I say the U.S. It's all the U.S., but you know what I mean. The, the mainland, bro. From my understanding, that is it. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, okay. Landuros Reed. I apologize. His question was, do you have to have a license to put down granulated fertilizer? 
And from my knowledge, yes, you do. Yes. Actually, not from my from my knowledge, but yes, you need you need a license. Yes. Yep. 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 And those guys are no joke either. Just like the DOT. Those uh they'll they'll get you, man. My friends, all of my friends that do fertilizer have been been stopped multiple, multiple times this year. So yes, you do need that license. Okay. Uh let's see. Um uh, ba, ba, ba. what's up, A and A professional services? Um Yep, Bob, we've got lead cleanups too. Been watching for a couple of years. Hope it doesn't sound weird. You're a real grinder. Too bad other channels have been talking bad about you and others. It's all right, man. I, I appreciate your support for the last couple of years. Be more birds. Thank you, buddy. Uh, are you gay? Um, considering I just got married to a woman, uh, you can, you can tell me. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are Colby asked? What are different types of landscaping? Um, are you talking about services? There's a million. You can, I mean, landscaping branch. Like I've even found this year, this week, that like it, it branches out so far. Like even down to pressure washing and things like that. It's all I all I include all of that in like property maintenance. It's all property maintenance. Property property maintenance. So uh let's see. Ba ba ba. Um let's see. Do I play Fortnite? No, I do not. Never played Fortnite. Facebook Marketplace. Oh, yeah. Best place to buy used stuff. Absolutely. Um, Toro Stand On Aerator was wondering how do you go about pricing your customers when you aerate for customers? Um, so, most of our yards are about the same size. About. There are some large ones. There are some small ones. They're about the same. So I I have one price, okay, for the normal yard. If it's a little bit smaller, it's still the same price. If it's if it's a decently sized bigger yard, that's when I will add money to it. But it, it's like a a, a I'm driving to your property. I'm unloading. I'm paying for gas. I'm paying for all this stuff. If it's a little bit smaller of a yard, it's not going to really change anything. You know what I mean? So uh, that that's just, that's how I go about it. And I just, I haven't shared the prices, but like, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's about, about a hundred bucks for the average lawn around you know around me so that's a good a good spot is 100 bucks might be more might be a little more but whatever it is you know so how do you feel about the permagreen um if you're referring to a video i did a couple years ago that was my buddy kyle's um, so I, I just can't talk on that cause I, I really, I really don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't do any fertilizing and stuff like that. He was just nice enough to let me, he just did it for me while I was there cause he was there and, uh, it would have been, it would have been too long for me to use a little handheld spreader. So, um, um, yeah, top notch. Yep. 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 Um, Hi, Blake. How are you doing today? I'm excited. My YouTube channel, Grand View Lawn Care. Doing good today, man. Doing good. Feeling a little sick. Getting a little sick, but uh, it's all right. Blake, I've never known any known of anyone who has died when falling off of a ladder. There have been many deaths from hitting the surface below, though. 
Benjamin Davis with the jokes. That's a funny one. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, man. JS. So for the past couple of years, I've been using QuickBooks. For 2019, I, I just want to automate it a little bit more, and I'll probably be using Jobber. Um, I haven't learned everything about it yet, but I'm learning. I that let me update you here in about a month when I figure out what how I'm going to do billing in 2019. It is going to change. I can't do I can't do it the way I'm doing it right now with how many accounts and stuff we're doing. It's just it's it's a mess, dude. It's a madhouse. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll update you here. Uh, gotta, gotta hit the grindstone. Have a great winter. I'll be catching up on YouTube videos this weekend and checking out the pressure washer you'll be working with. Thanks for the bids. Thanks bids. Thank you. Acme mowing and lawn care. Grandview lawn care. Shout out to you. Um, Andy's addicted to a video game. Uh, so low cuts. What's going on, buddy? Uh, initial investment. Uh, explain. I, I don't know what you mean by that, but I do like Dave Ramsey. Um, watch Ammerman lawn care videos. Sweet, honest feedback. Go to Kauai next year. Congratulations, newlyweds. Thank you, Ted. I probably won't be going back to Kauai. It's it's too long of a flight, but I appreciate, uh, yeah, I appreciate the comment. Uh, JS, please uh, retype that comment. I, I I guess I don't understand it. Um, I just watched a guy on YouTube use a stander with a blade on four inches of snow. I was impressed. That. That sounds fun. I just don't want to jack up a mower to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I think I've answered the the invoicing question. Um, sorry, I put an ad on your thing here. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, did you check out the new Toro stand on? I did not. I did not. Are you gay? That's the most craziest question ever. <laughs> my dad said there's no such thing as a dumb question that's funny uh complete property maintenance um how did you for afford a raptor such a young age used one it was used and two i just saved man um i was way too young to move out and that was just the dream bro and i knew and i had a lot of people tell me that like if you're gonna do something like that, you need to do it when you're when you're young or when you're old. And that I wanted it when I was young. So that was it, man. That was it. Work and save. We worked our dude. There have been summers, and I'll tell you the honest truth. I've never said this before. Like the guys that worked with me were my good buddies. Okay. And we would stay up all night and wake up at, at seven and work all day out in the heat. Very dangerous. Very dangerous for your body, but hey, we we're young, man. Young, killing it, and uh, made it happen. So, <sighs> Bob asks, "How many yards do we do, and how many yards can we can a, a solo guy do?" It just depends, man. Everybody's areas are different. The yards are different. Things take longer. Around here, I'll just do around here. Um, I would say the so okay, let's take Andy. Let's take Andy. I think Andy does around 35, 40 lawns. And I would agree. That's probably how many you could do. Uh, that's probably how many a, a solo guy could do around here. Um, yeah. And we do about 80... 85 lawns a week, um, you know, during prime time. We had a two-month drought this year, which, you know, you're not doing stuff on a weekly basis as much, uh, especially when people aren't watering. So, um, ba -ba -ba. Jeffrey Crum, howdy, Blake, how was Hawaii? Hawaii was awesome. Uh, I really love it, but I'll tell you, 
the flight kills me. Absolutely kills me, dude. I mean, it, it is it's two days. By the time you wait in airports and we had a plane get delayed, it's just two miserable days of being up. We were up for like 40 like 42 hours or something. So because all the flights are at night. So it's just I love it, but I don't know if I can do the flight again. I'll be honest. Um How much would you like to t- for the next year gross income? Um if I was going to be if I was going to you know not 10x that that'd be that'd be bad but if I was going to b- tell you a goal that I would love and and I will work my butt off to hit would be 200 okay 200,000 uh will it happen next year probably not but uh that that's that's where I'm shooting for in the next few years um I think I can do a lot uh we did a lot of very good jobs this year a lot of rock jobs and things like that I think it's very possible we're you know We'll get there soon, you know. We'll get there soon. Um, but yeah, that's what I would like. That's what I would like. How much it you? How much is it to use QuickBooks service? It, it just I I don't really know. I think it's like thirty bucks a month or so. I don't I don't know. And I know when you add employees, they charge like a couple buck fee a month and things like that. Just go to QuickBooks online.com and it'll show you the pricing. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. Ground keeper pro software is awesome. I've never heard of that. I'll have to check into that. JS landscaping. The DOT thing is a little bit like taxes. I don't give advice on it because I don't know. Uh, some people say it's when you have a 10,000 pound Gross vehicle weight rating, a GVWR. I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't. So I'm about as lost on it as you are. <laughs> I'll be 100% with you. Kyra says, hello, hello, hello. Uh, my wife wants to go to Thailand, 15-hour flight. I don't know if I could do it, man. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Um uh, bah, bah. How much is Jobber? I'm not. Oh man, you're ass. You guys got to remember, I don't have a good memory. I've told you guys that a hundred, hundred times. So I, I'm not good with numbers, man. I'm terrible with numbers. So I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Um, made in Kauai. Hey Blake, <laughs> that's awesome. Um. Bah, bah. Your thoughts on EDDM. What is that? EDDM cards. Website. Man, you're gonna have to explain, man. I don't know what that is. And I might it might just be like a abbreviation for something, but I yeah, I'm not sure. Uh can you say hello to Lucas and Ella? I don't know how to say that name, but hello, Lucas and L- yes, I don't want to say it because I want to mess it up. But hello, hello, hello. Um, Triple D's getting back to work. Ah, what brand of light is on that wall? Uh, this one. This is a Nano Leaf light. Super duper expensive. It's take me. I it just it, it's so hard to like spend money on something like that. But that's why it's so small. I want the whole wall eventually. I want the whole wall. But that would be very, very expensive. They are, I think, I think they're about $30 per triangle. So uh, this is a triangle. 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 This, 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 this. this. They're very expensive. Let me just tell you that. So that's why it's so small. I want it huge. But maybe one day when... 
maybe maybe one day. <laughs> uh, but yes, I do like them. They're very cool. Uh, Jared, we are in Kansas City, Missouri. How many could I mow a day since I'm in high school? Um, you could mow. Let's say you get off at like in the summertime. You can mow a lot more. It's it gets tough when when you turn the clock back and it starts getting dark at five. Um, because you're getting out of school at like four o'clock. By the time you get home and all that stuff, it's four thirty. Uh, you could probably cut three to four lawns uh, a day after school. Uh, maybe two, three, but you can you can make some money, dude. That's I did it. I did it. So it can happen. You're gonna have to work weekends, and uh, you can make money, dude. You can make money. Um. Uh, ba 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 ba. Grandview, shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to you. Do you do snow removal? I do do snow removal. Uh, a little bit of residential, but this year I'll be plowing as well. Um, plowing a government property. And uh, and I'll be doing driveways as well. Um, JK mowing. Um, I'm not a hundred percent and I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. I'm not, I'm not going to share that. Uh, my gross for the year. Uh, Blake, I've recently, I've watched for a while. Glad to see the daily uploads seem like realer content. Even more glad to see the comments video. LTD lawn service. Thank you, man. I've had great conversations. Really? Only done it for one day, replying to every comment, and I've really had some good conversations. So, Bob, I've got more information coming out on Jobber and stuff soon. I'm trying to figure it out before I start giving out information on it because I don't like to give out false information, man. Andy's got to go. Good luck to you, Brayden. Um, Bob, we do a lot more landscaping in the spring and in the fall, um, but I don't have a percentage for you, Mix. Like I said, I'm not a good numbers guy. So, um, man, Nathan Patterson. Nathan Patterson is a, a CPA, so he'd be a good friend to have. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, do you want to increase landscaping this year? Yeah, I do. Um, I made a lot of money doing rock, a lot of money doing rock, a lot of money doing mulch. Um, so I want to do more of that. I want to install more fountains. Um, like I've been learning from Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. I've been learning, you know, just from Aquascape. And uh, super cool guys over there. They're really pushing me hard. And uh, there's a lot of money to be made out there. Um, there's a lot of money to be made. 200K. That's it. For some reason, I thought you were way higher than that. No. Um and the real reason is I am more focused. And here's here's the real truth. And I'm going to be getting off of here soon. I'm, I'm already an hour past when I said I was. That's what I always do, man. We're <laughs> always say that. So here, here's the deal. I am focused. And like when I when I told you guys I'm more focused on cash flow. When I mean cash flow, that's that's profit. And so I am more worried about living a happy life where I sleep good at night and I have a little bit of time to myself to enjoy it and have a little bit of money. I, when I started, I wanted the biggest, baddest business with trucks everywhere and employees everywhere and, and all this stuff. And I just don't want to, man. I have had, I met a guy named Blake at uh, at the GAE, I don't remember his username or anything, but he makes lawn care videos. I'll, I'll find it. And he was telling me that when he got to a million dollars, I think it was like a $3 million company, actually. $3 million in revenue, his life crashed. His wife, his, his, like his marriage was ending he was so behind on all, he wasn't making money. 
and it scared me to death. And he's like, Blake, you have to stay profitable and don't worry. He w- he was like me. He was just on that race to be the biggest business. And um, that is not my game anymore. That is not my game anymore. Um, and I've, I've gotten so much advice from people that have tried that. And it, it, it and even the lawn care millionaire, Jonathan Patoshnak, you guys know the lawn care millionaire guy runs a $11 million lawn care company with 50% profit, I think. And, um, he, he's the owner of, uh, uh, geez. What's the software? Um, he's going to kill me if I don't know it. You guys are going to kill me. I feel like I should. I, I do know it. I just can't. You guys know I have terrible memory. Um, service Autopilot. He's the owner of Service Autopilot. He's the only success story I know. But even he tells you that if like when you get to like 500 plus to a million five, that is the dead zone of where your expenses are so high that you're not making money. And once you get, it's so hard to get up past 1.5 and then you're making profit again. But that there's just, there's not a ton of math that you can do that, that uh, gets you through that zone. And so, you know, I have to live with, I'll never have a million dollar a year company but I'll be a millionaire, you know, that's where, that's my game. You know, I want to be a millionaire. I will be a millionaire, but I won't have a million dollar a year company, um, which is fine. That's fine. Um, so that, that's my take. And that's why you might be surprised, but I care more about, um, money profit. Uh, that's kind of my game. I'm sure there's a lot of pro I'm sure, People that have a lot of revenue make a lot of money. That's fine, but it's the it's the headaches, it's the 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 mental part of it that is what kills people. You know, when you're a relation, you have to find out what you want in life. Uh, and I'm not a motivate. I don't know. I don't. I don't own a million dollar company, but I'm saying I have seen it personally in my town. I know a guy with a pretty decent sized business that uh, has nothing. Like he has everything and he has nothing. So you have to find out what you want in life, man. You got to find out what you want in life. And uh, I just think relationships are more important and uh, and profit and money. But yeah, that's my speech. I'm done with my speech. But I do. I, I look up to people that that do it, and I know it's. I know it's possible. I get it. I get it. I know it's possible. Um, it's just, are you mentally strong enough? I don't know if I am. It's. It's. It'd be hard. Okay. Every door direct mailers. Pff, I would do. I would do that before I do flyers. I think that's awesome. Absolutely. Direct mailers. I would say is probably your best bet. Um, after social media. Yep. I like it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Back to it. Sorry, I ranted there. I didn't mean to rant. I'm sorry. I'll show this comment. I don't know why it got held. Okay. I'd like to talk to you on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, just direct message me with the skag 36 and just two guys, half acre properties. How much lawn you think you can mow? Audi. Um, half acre properties with a 36. I don't know, man. Um, I honestly don't know because I don't use a 36 that often unless it's a fenced in backyard. I, you know, I can't answer that question. I really, I really don't know. I couldn't give you a, a good estimate um, answer on that. Um, so 
Sweet. BCB Lawns and Landscapes, man. Hit me up, bro. Hit me up. That's great. I'll, I can send you some business, whatever I can't get done, man. Just hit me up on Instagram. Snow removal. Save yourself some time. Get a back, back plow. Those things look sweet. Uh, I like bi-weekly lawns full of weeds. Weeds grow fast. Money rolling. And bi-weekly, pre-customer base. More jobs. Right on. Right on. Best software for a lawn... A lawn care guy to use that most 80 plus yards. <sighs> JK mowing. I've been looking for that answer for a very long time. Whenever I have an answer, I'll, I'll put it on YouTube. Whenever you find an answer, you come tell me because I really need to know. I don't know, man. I'm looking for it. I really am. Yeah, the only thing worse than owning a ladder is storing a ladder. I totally agree. That thing is big, bulky, and in my way all the time. Um, Winter has a company with 15 employees. Yeah, it's a lot, man. Yeah, kind of like junk mail. I agree. You got to have eye-catching stuff, man. Okay, Solo Cuts here is asking me some numbers questions, and I'm not good at numbers, but I'm going to try. Uh, let me let me tell you in a perfect world, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It's so hard. I feel like that's another question I can't answer, dude. I don't I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so he's asking if you gross 200, what do you think the net number would be? Uh, uh. Man, you guys are getting my mind rolling here this morning. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm skipping it. <laughs> Can I? Do I have a skip button? Can I do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. We'll have to figure it out. There are, and that's the thing. Andrea is correct. She's she really is on top of that numbers thing. Everybody's so different, dude. The lawns are different. The the business is different. Down even to your equipment, they take more gas. They take more money. You have different expenses. You have different insurance costs. You have different taxes. You have different everything, dude. It's, it's just different. So I, yeah, that's why it's just hard to answer. I really don't know. But I'm sorry, I'm not good with numbers. I don't do EDDM. I find I get more business from my website. And he, yeah, exactly, Red Rock. That's exactly what I preach. That's exactly it. Groundskeeper Pro. Let me check into this. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Groundskeeper Pro. There. How big of an area do you cover? We're very tight. Um, right in this area, dude, right in this area. So not that big of an area, which is another surprise to people, but it's back to the mindset of, you know, who said it right. If, have you guys ever heard of Travis with on-site supply? Cool guy. Um, you might've seen him on stand stuff recently, but I've known him for years and years and years. He's in Florida and he always talks about the biggest midget which is a philosophy about being the most efficient, profitable, small business. And that's what my focus is in life right now, but especially going to 2019. One day, will it change? Maybe. I, I've changed a lot recently. So, But that's, that's going into 2019. That is my philosophy of being the biggest midget, the most efficient, profitable, uh, least mistake making company. So uh, solo cuts runs the one third rule keep with keeping it in my company, pay myself in taxes. I like it. I like, yeah, I like it. Uh, da -da. Jay says, I'm guessing you keep 70 K after expenses of a 200,000. 
Sounds sounds close. Um, Fred, I will check out Top Notch's video today. Absolutely. All right, one third rule. That's where we're in and off, guys. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit of sore throat. I appreciate everybody jumping on here. We had a great conversation. I hope you guys learned a few things. I learned a few things. And uh, that is it. I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Uh, am I really going to do the actual out thing that I always say? But it is true. I'm going to read these last comments because everybody comments. Um, um, uh, yes, yes, yes. Glassboro, I am... I, I've got it all. It's all coming, dude. The Facebook advertising, the online social media advertising. Trust me, it's all coming. Uh, yes. Yep, 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 yep. That's it, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I really did enjoy talking to you. Yep. Thanks for all the love and support, bro. Well, have a great one. And then there's always this awkward time where it takes me a minute to get off the, the stream, but I really do appreciate it, guys. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.